what is up beers. In this video, I will be tracing Baby Yoda using Gravit Designer, and I'm gonna focus on the pen tool, the anchor and control points, opacity, layers, and fill. Open up a browser of your choice and I'm using Brave for this one. And then, yeah, go ahead and you'll have to sign up for Gravit Designer using the, the free version. There's a pro version as well. Now, I've selected new design here and I've set it to 500 to 500 pixels for this drawing. I'm just gonna go ahead and click create right there. And the first thing we wanna do is we wanna bring in our friend Baby Yoda. So just head over to file, uh, import, and then place image. Have a look at our desktop. And there he is, Baby Yoda. Open, there we go. Okay, so for tracing, what I recommend you do is first of all, select that image and then we're going to bring down our opacity uh, so that we can trace him. Now you don't have to do this, of course. This is just a personal preference for me. It just makes it easier when I'm tracing uh, those individual lines. Now in Gravit, depending on what, um, if you're using a Mac or Windows, you're gonna have to obviously get used to the zoom and zoom out keys, that's very important. So for the Mac, it's just Command and Plus. I'm just gonna zoom in there. Okay, there we go. I think a little bit more. And I'm gonna use the hand here just to move it across. Up, that's it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for this um, video tutorial anyway, showing you how to use the pencil mostly, is basically just trace his head and the collar as well. So I'm not gonna trace everything uh, what you see, just most of what you see at least. So this head over to the path and then make sure the pen selected. Now I'm gonna set the fill to, or select fill to uh, transparent, okay? And the border is gonna be one and black just for the outline. So I'm gonna start here on the, the left hand side. Now I've just left clicked at the end of the ear tip. What I've done actually is I've just made an anchor point and you can see that by that little square. Now, of course, it will draw like a right angle. So if you, if I draw another one here and then continue it, you can see that these are sharp angles and it's something we don't want, not for Baby Yoda anyway. So what we're gonna do whenever we come to the corner here of his ear, I'm gonna left click and hold. I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna drag that mouse off just a little bit. Now you see those two little, uh, like looks like um a line and there's two little circles at the end they're your control points and they're going to allow you to adjust that path to bend it in different angles so it's got a rounded rounded rather than like a, a right angle every time there's like a deviation in his um in the tracing okay i'm just going to left click and hold again like that and then just just dragging the mouse cursor over to the right hand side to follow that curvature so there's another one here and the more you do this, the more detailed it will be uh, in the end, and you'll certainly have a bit much better product, but you don't need to do it every single time. When you get to the head, um, I recommend that you just click somewhere in the center here, left click and hold, and drag that all the way. And then we can come back and correct that later. Okay, and then here, so I'm just gonna left click and drag down here, like so. And then you can see your uh, tracing done. Now, if you want to go back and correct, uh, you notice this bit here actually isn't part of Baby Yoda's head. Okay, so what you need to do is um, select the sub selection or sub select button and then just double click on the, the shape okay, until that you get those options. And then here, control point, I'm going to adjust this control point here so that it follows it. Just be careful because it may move all our control points. Be patient with that. When you're finished, okay, you just uh, come off the sub selection tool, go back to the pointer. That's that done. Just head over to the layer section, and then you'll see the the path that you've just drawn is here, and it's got no name at the minute. So it's a good idea because you're going to have lots of paths to actually rename that. So I'm going to just put it in head, or that one. Okay. So that's important as you go through um, when you're drawing all these um, different shapes. You'll notice down here this is a little bit too sharp as well, so that's something I would definitely want to uh, correct. Now, once you finish drawing uh, a shape, 
using your vector pencil uh, what i recommend you do is to lock it as well so i'm just going to lock that but i'm going to keep it viewable uh, at the minute just to help me with my tracing you can actually uh, make it invisible too so next up are the eyes so it's pretty much the same thing again uh, except i'm going to copy and paste it after i'm done i'm not going to draw both of them Next up is just finish up the eyes here, these extra bits on edge. And we actually, before we do that, it might be a good idea just to give that a fill color. So next up is just to trace uh, these extra bits on the side. Okay, and let's get rid of Baby Yoda again. Okay, so it's starting to come together. Again, you just wanna make sure that that matches the outside there. So just take your time. Make sure it's perfect, it'll look much better in the, in the long run. Okay, and let's zoom out and have a look at baby. Okay, so not too bad. Uh, certainly would want to spend a little bit more time on that. Um, probably just finishing it up, adding in the extra wrinkles, uh, little bits of hair, whatever you've got there. Okay, probably should have mentioned this earlier, but you definitely want to save that. Head over to File, Save to Cloud As, and save Young Baby Yoda there. They've got a couple of versions already. So Baby Yoda V2. And uh, after you've saved that to Gravit Cloud, uh, what you'll want to do as well is just to download a copy. You don't have to, of course, um, just so you have one on your desktop. So you've got four options. You've got PNG, uh, JPEG, SVG, and PDF. Okay, that concludes this video on tracing Baby Yoda. I hope you've enjoyed.